The Burning Legion is here. Their numbers are endless. Their forces immortal. And they come with more power and brutality than ever before. But wait, why should I care? Good question. Legion is the most lore-rich expansion we've ever had, so everything we do from the artifact weapons we wield to the factions we work with has a long history behind them. There's a lot of reasons for the citizens of Azeroth to care about the Legion. Everything in this expansion revolves around the Tomb of Sargeras. You see it at the Broken Shore scenario in various artifact quest lines, and it's literally right in view of Dalaran. It's kind of a big deal. The tomb is where the corpse of the Avatar of Sargeras was buried after he was killed by Aegwyn, Guardian of Tearsfall. Mind you, Sargeras himself is not dead, just his Avatar, but despite this, no one has seen or heard from him since that event. His tomb is a place of great power and evil, and the original Gul'dan went into it to seek that power during Warcraft 2. He was rewarded by being torn apart by demons. In Warcraft 3, Illidan visited the tomb to acquire the Eye of Sargeras in a bid to destroy Northrend. He didn't succeed at that, but that's a story for another time. So obviously the best thing to do with this Tomb of Horrors is to seal it up and leave it alone for over a decade, because hey, what could go wrong? We were busy, you know, fighting orcs. Oh wait, you mean the new Gul'dan has stolen the body of Illidan and now is using the tomb to summon in the Legion invasion forces to overwhelm the world? Yeah, that might be bad. Every demon we've ever slain is back, from the Minari twins to Jaraxxus. And yes, there are two Gul'dans. Don't think about it too much, it'll hurt your head. We'll cover it in another video. Now, the Horde and Alliance already put together a raid to shut down the tomb, which we took part in in the Broken Shore scenario, and we got stomped. Tyrion Fordring, dead. Vol'jin, dead. Varian Wynn, super dead. This ain't no kobold invasion, folks. These demons mean business. But the Broken Isles don't just contain the tomb, they contain a whole host of peoples who can help us against the Legion, and in turn could use our help as well. We must rally them and the world to face down this threat. But I'm not anybody important, I just own a farm in Pandaria and like eight orc shacks in another dimension, and I'm glad you asked. You won't just be playing as some bloodthirsty mercenary looking for loot, though you might be that in real life. When you enter into the expansion, you'll immediately quest for and obtain an artifact weapon. These weapons of legend bring you on par with many of the lore figureheads such as Thrall, Khadgar, and Tyrion Forging. Funny I should mention those two, because the Doomhammer, Thrall's weapon, and the Ashbringer, Tyrion's weapon, are two of the artifacts we can claim. Once we claim this, we become leaders of our classes, uniting them across faction lines and leading in the battle against the Legion as the High Lord of the Silver Hand, or the Archdruid of the Cenarian Circle. Not only will you be fighting on the Broken Isles, you'll be returning to your class order hall and questing across the world to bolster your forces for the coming battles. I won't spoil any of these quests, but they're well worth going through on multiple classes as they take you back to places such as Old War, Barad and Hold, and much, much more. For this fight, we have obtained new allies, the Demon Hunters, which you can play as. Trained by Illidan Stormrage himself, they bind demons to themselves and use their power to hunt down... well, demons. It's a fight fire with fire thing, they stab out their own eyes, it's pretty friggin' metal. Their goal is to fight the Burning Legion with everything they have, and they're willing to do whatever it takes to reach that goal. They're also trying to find the soul of Illidan and recover his body from Gul'dan. Illidan is a huge figure this expansion, and his entire role in Burning Crusade was revealed to be a misunderstood savior. Of course, the man needs a body if he's going to be saving anything, if you know what I mean. You know what I mean. He needs a body. Yeah. So there you have it. You have an order to lead, a continent to explore, and a tomb to close. The Legion is going to be breathing down your neck at every turn. Know your enemy, know what's at stake, and lead Azeroth in the fight to take down the Legion once and for all. I'll see you in Azeroth, folks.